Welcome back, my oodles and oodles, to more Valheim. Valheim chart time. You know, it has been a little while. And by a while, I guess I mean like a week and a half since the last Valheim upload went up. And for those who don't watch any of the other series, maybe you missed it, but when I came back, from my couple day hiatus. I don't even know if that's really the right word to be using here. I made kind of like a little announce. Oh geez, that scared me. Yeah, so when I made an, I made an announcement, I think in Baldur's Gate, like the first episode I came back, my computer died. Died is a pretty loose term here because it did die in the sense that I just couldn't record videos anymore, but it was still working. There was just a lot of strain going out on the CPU and it's because the graphics card I think completely went out. But to be able to dissect the issue, it took me so much longer than I anticipated because on day one, when I went to go hit record, basically the CPU levels in OBS spiked from the average four to eight that it experiences on a normal day to day to, I'm sorry, 80%. 90 at its highest, which was crazy to me. Now, be me being the computer tech genius, clearly, <laughs> clearly, uh, I had no idea what it was. So I went to Google and I was like, hey, Google, uh, what, what seems to be the issue here if I'm experiencing XYZ? And Google goes, oh, yeah, maybe you need to clean your computer. And I was like, okay, great. I went on like a, a, a store trek to four different stores to find all the, the materials I needed to properly clean a computer, which is never something I've had to do. Took me about six hours <laughs> to watch a couple videos, learn how to do it myself, take everything apart, call a friend, phone a friend in the middle of it all because I eventually break down and go, I don't know what I'm doing. My friend helps me obviously move past all of the confusion. We get it together, we get it on, all my stuff plugged in. I go to turn it on and it completely was the same issue. It was, it was still struggling. And while I'm obviously telling my story, I'm gonna go ahead and get some farming done here. So I had to go back to the- Oh my good god! <laughs> that scared me so bad. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the mosquito to come out of nowhere. Okay, well, I went back to the drawing board and there were some noticeable signs, like things that I- like a little breadcrumbs, a little breadcrumb trail that I could follow to figure out what was going on. I really felt like a detective in that moment. I'm not even kidding. I had to like type a bunch of the symptoms and then I had to dissect what was going on. There was a lot of warning signs pointing to like a needing- like my computer needing a full CPU, a full new CPU or a new motherboard, basically like a new brain. For anyone who was just as confused as I was, what the CPU is the brain of the computer. It's like this little tiny disc chip that's like this big and it sits on the motherboard, but both parts can be replaced entirely. So I thought it was that, but there were some little, like I said, breadcrumbs to follow prior to that. My my desktop monitor sound went out. It was a couple days prior and I just didn't think anything of it. I was like, okay, I can't, I can't get this to work. So, I mean, I might as well just deal with it. Worked around it as best I could, but it started to kind of make sense that maybe the graphics card was having issues or not working entirely because the graphics card talks to the CPU and they share in like the joint responsibilities of running the computer. But I think, I think of the, I think of the GPU or the graphics card as like the muscle, the the muscle of the, of the computer. But the, that's how I view it. It could be completely wrong, but then again, I know nothing, L very little, maybe not nothing, but I know very little about computers. So now you have the full story. That's what's happened. It set my schedule back really far, having to wait for the part to come in, doing the research behind which part I even needed. and. Doing the whole 24 hour cleaning job was no joke. Now you guys have the full story. Just like a car needs maintenance, maintenance uh, a computer also needs just as much maintenance. All things I'm starting to really figure out. <laughs> um, but so what are we doing in Valheim today? Well, it is Valheim short time. Uh, this, this is an extension of the zero death world that I started and then I ended up, you know, of course I ended up finally dying, but you guys mentioned that you wanted to see more and you wanted to, you know, see this as a let's play. You wanted to see me fill out the rest of my Viking days. So here we are doing just that. Obviously before the Ashlands up update comes out, you know, we, we gotta, 
Oh, gee, God, good God. And it's actually really, it's really fun to, I, I, at least this has been a lot more fun. I feel like I kind of fell into a little hole of like repetition. I wasn't losing the love for Valheim. I think I was just like, it's so repetitive. That's why people call them like Chorheim and, you know, Valheim Chore Time and things like that. Because it does get to be a little monotonous. But since going out and playing around in the Mistlands, things that I've never done ever in Valheim, it's gotten to be not as monotonous and, and repetitive. All this new stuff makes me eager to explore, so I'm excited to continue on our Let's Play series. But as far as what we're doing today, I mean, we gotta obviously keep up on our daily chores, but I do want to go back and make more headway or, I don't know, go go exploring in the Mistlands a little bit more. We are running into a little bit of a problem. I need to get my hands on a black metal pickaxe because there's, there's mining material in the Mistlands. And I can't, can't seem to get any of them yet. All right, let's go. We don't have a lot of time in our day. Let's, let's check out the Mistlands. You guys said I needed to build a, um, por um, not a portal. I need to build a little fence around my crops here. I hate being here. I love it and I hate it. Ooh, look how precious. What the hell? I think another y'all is nearby. Oh my God. Why are the y'all everywhere? Yeah, I hear you, Mr. Y'all. Where are you? It's somewhere. I don't like that. Do any of you guys know how to capture hairs very well? Like an easy way to capture hairs? It feels like they're so fast. Mr. Y'all, I hear you. Where is he? Maybe if I just shoot out in the middle of nowhere. God, this is terrifying. Oh, it's pretty though. It's terrifying, but it's it's pretty. <laughs> I just wonder how, hmm. Is there any way to fully clear the mist? I know it's called the Mistlands for a reason, but I mean, it could be, it could try to be a little less misty. Oh, I see you. I saw you only for brief. If it were only brief, it were brief, but I saw you. He's like right there. I don't know where he <laughs> can't see him. Oh, I see you. All right, come on, Mr. Y'all. Oh God, where, th there you go. Wait, well, how am I lost? No, follow the lights, follow the lights. Uh, hello? What are you doing? Stop it! Oh my good God. Oh, he's pissed. Oh my God, I'm on fire. Okay, are you gonna follow me this time? <gasps> oh my God, oh Jesus Christ. Oh no, 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 no. I think, I'm pretty sure he broke my portal. I need to get, oh, please help, please help, please help. Please help. Help, 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 help. Oh my God, thank you. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure that the, the y'all just broke my portal. Hi, Mr. Rogues. Please tell me he didn't destroy everything. Uh, I think I've got a crafting bench anyways. All right, is he gonna follow me this time? Come on. Woo! come on. Oh, good God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I did not see him. Okay, there he is. Oh my God, Mr. Y'all, come on. I can take on the y'all by myself. It's just, man, when he gets you on fire. Okay, do your wizardry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reinforcements. Oh my good God, he's right there. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Freaking out for a second. Wow, they, they demolished it. This is the safest place I could ever be. Okay, not that bad. The, the, the portal is still there and we're good. Oh, okay. Well, I've been chasing down rabbits for forever. I need to chase the rabbits into these traps. I didn't even realize it, but I got some <laughs> some fur now from the rabbits. They're actually hares, not even rabbits. They're, they're actually rabbits. They're just bigger versions of rabbits. They're just so fast. Do you think if I put carrots down, they'll come to me and then I could just start picking them off? I'm gonna see about trying it. I wanna go back. Is that pretty presumptuous that they like carrots? I'm gonna build like a little tiny pen. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to build it where they all are. And then I'm gonna just see about putting them in the in the kennel or I, I don't know. I'm gonna drop some carrots in there and see if anything works. And if not, if this doesn't work, I'll look it up. But I figure I would at least try it on my own. Try to at least have a big brain. All right, seeing as this is kind of where they like to hang out, I'll put some right here, right here, right here. Okay, now I wait. Okay, there's a bunny. Is he gonna go for it? I'm waiting. It seemed like it did want to, but I think it saw me. Am I supposed to like shepherd them in? I wonder. Okay, sweet little bunny. Go right in. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. This is a lot harder than I was 
anticipating. I might have to make this just bigger, I guess. So hairs can be tamed. I guess I'm just not seeing how. I like having these OP uh, Dwerver nearby. Kind of makes me feel a little bit invincible. Unless we come across a, a two-star seeker, I don't think that these Dwerver are gonna die. Come on, get in there. No. You little rabbit. One of them's gotta go inside the trap. I mean, it's big. I don't think my my cage is very good for the hairs. But I guess I could come back with a harpoon real quick. Oh my god, I have so many chickens. <laughs> I don't want that many chickens. I'm gonna have to kill them. I don't like the way they sound. They sound like seagulls. Well, I don't really have that many chicken breasts. A good amount of feathers, though. I wonder when I can open up more crafting recipes. Oh, I can open up crafting recipes when I have enough... Ah, so much to do. <laughs> okay, we got to I forgot what I was coming here for. I got distracted with the chickens. Harpoon, back to the mistlands. Can the hare even get tamed without a without a roof? Are they like chickens like that? I feel like the wild hares, you don't really need a roof. Okay, hares, stop running away from me. Oh, there's actually a lot of seekers out right now. I think it's because it's nighttime, right? Oh, <gasps> what in God's name is that? Damn, Seeker smashed our black cores back into the deep then, I guess. What? A Seeking Soldier? It's a good thing I have these guys on my side. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't hit one of the Dwerver. That would be bad. Uh, Yeah, I don't ever want to fight one of these by myself. That looked awful. A mandible. It made a terrible noise. Okay, then. I have rabbits to catch. Ah, uh, they're, they're so hard to catch. Oh, I got- I got him! You get over here right now, you stupid- I almost killed him doing it. Oh, I got you. I got you. Get over here right now. Maybe I should put him in a hole or something. They don't seem to like to cooperate very much. All right, fine. We're gonna do this the hard way then. I'm gonna bury you in a hole. How about that? You think this is deep enough? <laughs> okay. Get in this hole right now. Oh! The line broke, but my hair, where did my hair go? He like glitched through the map. Oh, that makes me so angry. <laughs> I work so hard. Yeah, my hair is gone from existence. It left this m immortal plane. Gah! No, he's right there. Damn you. I'm gonna end up killing this guy. Oh, I killed him. This, this uh, is not going very well. You know, we might have to just make the judgment call. We, we might have to make the call and go find black metal. Do like a massive black metal adventure with our boat. Because I, I am going to need to, I need to forge that pickaxe again. Not again. I need to forge the pickaxe so that way I can actually get some of this, this stuff that's here. That means a lot of a lot of uh fueling fueling village raids you know a fueling village raid would actually come in real handy right now we should get ourselves fueling village raid ready i know where a lot of fueling villages are but we're gonna need a lot of arrows and we're gonna need portal stuff as always Okay, so what I need to do now, I, I kind of got a bunch of materials ready to go on like a little fueling raid. I think I'm going to need to collect all of the metal I can, and then I'm going to have to store it away and then bring it all back. Yagluth 1. Yes, I think Yagluth 1 is what we're looking for. I'm going to need to take all the black metal to the coast. Let's, let's set up shop. And then I think all of next episode, we're just going to be searching for black metal and we're going to have to haul it all home. Kind of like how we did with our iron, our iron run. Hopefully I don't get raided by wolves, which tends to be the problem every time I, I come out to the, to the plains biome. Well, we will mark this as our chest spot. I don't usually take on full camps at once. I might have to figure out how to do my cheese method. All I need is stone and a bench, right? A crafting bench. And there's a lot, there's a lot of stone here. I'll need my, my tool though. My paver tool? Yeah. Okay, let's go back for that. Yeah, I only have 26 stone. I'm gonna need to gather a lot more. I'm actually kind of excited though. I know this is gonna kind of take a while. The whole getting the black metal pickaxe is gonna take a while, but I feel like it'll be worth it. The moment that I have it, everything in the Mistlands are gonna start to piece together, but getting there is going to be the tough part. All right, this should come down any second now. Here we go. 
You know, that doesn't ever get tiring. And then building right here should be good, right? I'm not too close. I actually am way too close, but hopefully I can get this done before they come poking around. <laughs> Oh, yep. Look at all of them come over. Look at that. Hopefully the the uh, wizard doesn't come over. I think that's when I'm going to have some issues. Oh my God. Look how many feelings there are. There's so many. I'm going to need a bigger base than this. The last time I tried doing this, oh, whatchamacallit came over. The, the sorcerer came over and that was agony. Do you guys like that I do this for every single one of my fueling villages? <laughs> this feels like a staple, a staple of cheese. Like it just is my thing. Oh God, they're coming over. They're coming over. All right. What do you guys think? I should call them over or what? I should call some of them over. How do you call some of them? I think we're good. We're gonna just gonna go ahead and start raining some arrows in on them. What's the worst that can happen, right? Final words spoken. Yeah, look at this guy. He's a monster. Two star fueling. Don't even. Don't you, you don't even. I like that they kind of come over in, in waves. God, a two star. It's crazy that they are like are completely like a different color. Okay, kill the shaman. Kill the shaman. Kill the shaman. That wrinkly. Oh God. Okay, I killed him. I killed him. Oh, I'm more worried about the shaman than I am of like any of these guys. Once the two stars are gone and the berserker and the shamans are gone, the camp does become a lot easier. Oh, that's a shaman. Okay, I lied. Once the shamans are all gone and I did not, I didn't kill one of the shamans. No, damn you. Almost full on black metal already. Actually, I think I am. Well, at least I made my next trip easier on myself. I draw, I already got a stack. So 33 black metal. We need a lot more, right? How much? I, f I feel like we need a couple stacks of black armor. Black armor, black metal. Have I been saying black armor? Now that I've been to the mist biome, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I like the planes a lot more. Like it's deadly here, but I, you know, I feel like I have less fear of the planes than I do of the mistlands. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching another episode of Valheim. It's our Let's Play Valheim series. We go until the Ashlands update comes out and we play the Ashlands and then we see about going from there. I'm still happy that the series is going strong. If you guys are also enjoying don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you Vikings in tomorrow's episode. Mwah.